Good morning, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. I hope you have an O in front of your name. If not officially today, you can you can do that. I don't know what the weather is. It's so dark outside, but it felt cold this morning when I woke. Today we are taking our lesson from the the way to Shalom, and this week we're studying hope as the way to Shalom. Seeing things through. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord God, you have an everlasting rock. How many times do we start new projects with great enthusiasm only to become discouraged? When we realize all the work that needs to go into it, the excitement wanes when reality strikes. We can't see the end and we become discouraged and drop the project altogether. When the people following Jesus found out how hard it would be, many walked away. Jesus predicted this would happen. In the parable of the sower in Mark's gospel, Jesus says that we are like seeds sown among the thorns. We hear the word, but the cares of the world, the lure of wealth, the desire for other things come in and choke the word, yielding nothing. No matter the difficulties though, God will give us the strength to follow God one step at a time. Isaiah reminds us in our Lenten journeys to trust in the Lord forever. For in the Lord God, you have an everlasting rock. Jesus himself reminds us not also not to worry about our lives, what we will eat or drink or wear. He says to consider the lilies of the field and how they grow. We have a great big God project to see through on this Lenten road and beyond that of sharing the hope that we have in God. And God knows what we need and God will provide it. Will you see it to a good finish? Let us pray. Lord, trusting in you leads to life. Help us to trust you more. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. I appreciate your coming to visit and I hope to see you again next week. God bless. Take care.